morning from a sunny Ayrshire following well this is the calm after storm the bet I have to say it's left a drop in temperature and a bit of wind but nevertheless it looks a lovely day so the plan today is to ride a 28 mile route on the OB again uh, I'm already nine miles in or thereabouts and uh, I've got a 28 mile route to do and the plan is to see how it goes on the big climb on this ride which is a 15 percenter and the intention is to jack it up onto red and see how we get up that hill um, I've never failed yet uh, I should also say that so far I've been on assist level 1 at 60% so we're all of effort into this uh, just on 900 feet of climbing so far in what will be 9.89 miles by the time I get to the top of this ramp and then as I say drop down onto the cycle lane and head back to three hill lane and my 15% nemesis I'm going to turn now onto three hill lane through all the potholes don't know what's under this water so let's be careful and avoid it for them with the best of road conditions up here but first climbs are only about five percent and we get to the second lock of the day climb one just steady away up here so the sun is shining and it makes all the difference quite lovely views up here first lock of this climb beautiful up here today leaving the line for the wind leaving the Garmin telling me there's a sharp bend coming up it can be quite scatty a little bit of gravel on this uneven surface let's see what it's like today after all the rain oh, it's not too bad And here we go on to climb number two. So up to nine percent. Still on level assist one. Set at sixty percent. Where I've been all day so far. So just over halfway in. Going to. Lovely, absolutely lovely up here today. Alright, so around this bend is the big climb of the day, 15%. I'm going to jack this up to three and see how I go. Oh, doesn't have ego of them. there we are quite interesting from the gate to the top of that first section it's normally 30 revolutions on the pedal to get there today it was 26 that makes a difference and I felt I got there faster I 
need to get the anchors on here because I'm hanging right. And there's, there's Windy Yeti. And we start again. The road's really quiet today. I've seen lots and lots of cyclists. But motoring wise, pretty quiet. Which makes it lovely. Feels like I'm up in the Highlands, got the place to myself rather than eight miles from Glasgow. <sighs> wonderful today, absolutely wonderful. We're heading up now to White Lock, which is the fourth lock of the day. We might see some wild swimmers there. No cases they are. To be wearing wetsuits and what have you, but no. Speedos, and that's it. Oh, traffic. So here's White Lock. Sure enough, there are wild swimmers out today. So no traffic. He's going to come past me on the spine bend. I'm waving past. Nice of him to give me plenty of space. Yeah, somebody in the water, somebody on the water. Braver man than me, that's for sure. Okay, so we just summited here. And since our first climb on the Three Hill Lane, we climbed just on 300 feet, a little over two and a half miles. Now I've got a fast one mile descent. Over 40 mile an hour! Yay! Yippee! Well, that proves this can drop like a stone. So it's about 40.7 mile an hour down there, which is as good as it gets on the analog bikes. Okay, we're coming up to rock number five for today on this five rock tour. So that makes it the last one. And then another climb just for good fun and I'm still in assist level 1 at 60% where I've been all day apart from that 15% climb then for shimming out wonderful Morning, lovely day. There we go. Morning. So I've got about half a mile to go of these lanes. Then I'm back onto urban roads. I dare say I will find some traffic now. But it's been wonderful today on these lanes, it's been so quiet, it's untrue, it's great. I've got one climb left on the Barhead Road, going towards Deep Mens, and it'll be busy because it's a bus route as well. So 
let's see how the traffic behaves but this is the end of the lanes for me I'm back into urban roads traffic lights roundabout what a lovely morning beautiful here we go I'm rounded up to level assist 3 I'm back on 1 now now you are a difference there's a 10% ramp thank you so that's it 3 miles home cup of coffee compare how I've done compared to other rides doing that route I think it'll be about the same then I will cap it off at the end just to record that but definitely on the hills it makes a difference I'm back for my ride and to be honest I didn't think it was a great deal of difference to the last time I did that ride on my analog bike but just checking the times now in Strava and on my Garmin Connect I'm actually a whole 10 minutes faster I didn't feel like that so obviously it makes a difference uphill uh, it was a very similar day in terms of weather climbing almost identical 1840 feet of climbing uh, just on 28 miles used about 30% of power on the uh, bike and 10 minutes faster that's a result how it goes next time I've still got 55% of battery after yesterday's ride so I've got at least two more rides in it uh, before I need another cycle